How's it going, everybody? This is your host for the, this one year anniversary of the podcast. Whether you love it or hate it, I am your host, Paul Dosky, and I am joined with my lovely fiance, Tessa Baker. And I'm also joined with the co assistant host, Christelle Labello. And as always, guys, we got the lovely guy from Sky High Gaming 28. The lovely. Barry! Uh, I, I, I love the fact, I love the fact that I'm lovely. I love it. Lovely. It boosts my day. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, I'm glad you guys can make it here for the one year anniversary. Um, so yeah, let's get moving on. Uh, so let's start, let's first start off with, how do you guys feel that this podcast was started exactly one year ago. How do you guys oh, feel about that? Stop reminding me. Um, wow, time flies. Holy shit. Is it really a year it felt already? It like we just started the podcast. Yeah. It really feels like we just started it. Yeah, it feels like it just started yesterday and here we are like celebrating this celebrating one year. a year. It is so sad. Woo! Our little... <laughs> I like how he said, I like how he said, it's so sad. Woo! Like, what? Hold up. Whoa. This was so amazing. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, time flies. It's been one hell of a year. Uh, we we'll first talk about the fact that people have listened about 345 hours of the podcast. Um, we've gotten 18 followers on Podbean. We have 100 likes on our Facebook I uh, forgot how many people follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the moment, but that's okay. Um, we have. It's been, it's been quite a year indeed, and, uh, wow, man, I mean, I don't even know what to say right now. I mean, one year for this thing, first of all, let me just say, I didn't even expect this podcast to even be a year old, and then when I finally saw what day it was, what it would come in, and I was just like, oh my we god. We have 132 followers on Instagram. 132 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. And that just makes it just jays Um, Well, I think Tessa and I can both agree um, we've, we've met some really cool people doing this, interview-wise. Um, I mean... We all we've look made, at them. Yeah, we've met a lot of awesome people doing these episodes, and in turn, they've become great, great friends. They're, yep. they're awesome people, and um, they can always come back on the show. Yep, they're always welcome back. And just to throw it out there, we have 109 followers on Twitter. So, thank you everybody for the support. It means yeah. a lot. Thank you for your support. Um, what was I going to say to you before Tessa started blabbering about the Instagram? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there was 345 hours or close to that uh, listened to. There was eight, we have 18 followers on the Podbean. We have over 1,009 downloads from the episodes. So, people have listened to it, whether they hated it or not. Um, so, thank you, everybody who had downloaded it. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Um, I know there was one more thing I'm missing here, and I'm trying to think what that was. Oh, uh, yeah. This, I think, believe, if my memory serves correct, this is technically our 57th episode. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot, but... Holy to Toledo. But, yeah. It, I mean... Jeez them. My goodness. Oh, Jeez them. But yeah. Within um, a year, that's a lot of podcasts. Yeah. A lot of episodes. That's a, that's a lot of us. That is a lot of us. And um, so let's go right into it. Uh, we'll start with you, Barry. What were your favorite episodes that we have done so far? Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. My favorite. Probably, probably, the, probably in my opinion, probably the Until Dawn one. And the only reason why I say that one is because it was a, it was something that we all were able to play at one time. Like we were all able to play it so many times, and we just had it was just a giant discussion. It was a lot of good times, with good memories. It was really good. It was a lot of fun to hear 
who who uh, who kept people alive, who did who let people die, see whose characters were their favorites, and whose characters that they just wanted to die off. Like it, Emily. it was fun to hear. <laughs> it, it was it was just great to see like us all come together and and admire a game. And we, we talked about its likes and its dislikes, and I think the the podcast was like very long that episode because it was it was, there was just so much of us talking about it, so much topics and so much questions. So I, I honestly, for me, I would have to say the Until Dawn was probably my favorite podcast that we've done together as a group. Uh, Crypto. Ah, golly, there were so many that we've done that yeah. I'm trying <laughs> to think. I do think that. I, well, mine's tied. I have two favorites that are all my all-time favorites, and that's the Until Dawn and the All Ladies podcast on Outlast. I think those are my two favorite because we all came together in Until Dawn, and like Barry said, we all talked about who lived, who died, what we liked about it, you know, who was our favorite character and who was our least favorite character. I mean, we all came together on that one topic and just gushed about it. And just like the ladies all podcast for Outlast, yeah, um, yeah, you know, we, we all got together, that. we gushed on it, talked about our fate. We did, we slated that that episode was fire. And even though some of the people that were in the previous podcast are no longer a part of it or no or is not as active, it brings back good memories about how excited we were to be a part of this and come together and talk about our hard our hard games in the in our favorite genre i agree um and to answer barry's question uh that episode that we all did with until dawn was two hours and 36 minutes long um i think it was at the time uh yeah i think at the time that was the longest podcast we've ever done at the time and it's it's just incredible, like Barry said, how and Crystal, how we just all came together, talked about what we liked and how who we saved and everything else. I mean, it was, I, I mean, let's just put it this way: Until Dawn is one of those games where you can just talk for hours on end about that game because it was very well done, and I just think that um, there needs to be more um, th of that type of game. In the future. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. There's gonna be a five. There's gonna be a five-hour episode, guys, coming up soon. Wait for it. A what? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. What? Five guy? I thought I heard five guy, and I'm like, wait, what? I said, wait, hold up. I said five hours. Oh, five hours. Five hour podcast. Oh. Talking about five guys. Like five guys. I don't know where you came up with that one. Oh, five guys is Clearly, amazing. Anyway. Five guys is amazing burgers, <laughs> man. Is, I'm thinking sinful Sundays, but okay. Okay. I'm not like five guys. <laughs> oh boy. Everybody, okay. that's Crystal for you. Uh, always in the gutter somewhere on Sinful Sundays, I guess. Hey. Um, Got to have that Dream Daddy going on there, probably. Um, Tessa. Uh, I love Dream Daddy. <laughs> oh, God. What um, are your favorite episodes? What were my favorites? Yeah. Um, Until Dawn, the All Ladies Outlast uh, podcast. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, and we slayed it, and, like, the Until Dawn episode, it was all of us together, and it was, you know, it was good times, and, it, you know, like, like Barry and Crystal said, like, we all came together, talked about a game that we all loved, you know, and, sh you know, shut the shit, and, it, you know, it was good times. Um, as far as now, um, there's couple of episodes that I liked talking about like um I liked our episodes that we did for like Visage and stuff like that but as far as like group effort definitely um Until Dawn and Outlast. Okay well I'm gonna uh, one of my favorite episodes besides Until Dawn of course uh I'm gonna switch it up here I think one of my favorites is gonna always be our, our very first interview with Daniel Coughlin, Ryan Coughlin, oh, and Megan Waters. Oh, yeah, Ditch Day. Of Ditch Day That's Massacre. Good one. Or Ditch Day. Um, I don't. I can't express how much enough I was a fanboy before that interview. Before I, when I did some research, 
on the names of who we're going to be talking with. And then when I noticed under Daniel Coughlin's name was the movie Wake Dead, I became a fanboy guilty. I was just like, oh shit. You were gushing. Yeah, I'm talking to the guy who made Wake Dead, wrote N Wake Dead. Um, I wonder if she would be able to sign my copy of the movie. Which he did. I am so surprised, too, that he allowed us to send him Wake Dead so that Daniel and Ryan, because Ryan Coughlin was also in the movie near the end as uh, the doomed teenager number two, as he was called in the credit. Um, but yeah, both of them signed it with their blood on the cover. And... Um, and they became very good friends of ours at the end. But I'm going to have to say that one too just because that was our very first interview ever. So, thank you guys again if you guys are listening to it. There it is. Thank you guys for being our first interview. I know we said it to you too that you guys are our first interview. Just like I think we were your first podcast interview thing. So it worked out in the end. Yeah, they were definitely awesome. And it, it was amazing to share that drinking game that for that, that you guys were coming up with on Dit Day exclusively to us. That was amazing. I thought my heart was going to explode when you said that we were going to, uh, that when that word came out about exclusive to this, I guess now, because it wasn't even in the public. So, amazing. Um... I don't know. I mean, I, I, I would have to say really all the episodes that we've interviewed have to be my favorite because they were all really nice people. Um, and I mean, they've all are considered a friend of ours now. And don't worry, Bill, if you're listening, I'm still planning on keeping this lady in my life who is now my fiance. So do not bring your fireman's axe to our bring apartment. It. Bring the axe. Don't bring do axe, it. Bill. Don't do it, no. Bill. Don't listen to Crystal, no. Bill. No, he Don't. only he only he only does it if, if Paul if Paul hurts me and leaves me. That's the conditions of Bill bringing the act. So don't worry. Don't don't do it. Don't worry about it. Um, it. moving on now. <laughs> moving on now. Um, interview wise, yeah, I would just say everything. Um, especially with Don, Don from Enix Studios. I mean his. Oh my oh, god. Don's, Don's was great. That was another one I really liked. Don's interview? Oh my god. He was a lot of fun. Three hours and like 20 minutes I think his interview was. I mean, I guess we just couldn't shut up. Pun intended. Whoops. Um, we learned so much though, it was ridiculous. We not only learned about his game that he is still working on, but you we learned a lot about how it gets being made like VR and non VR which I thought was kind of really neat to learn about because I for me who doesn't de uh, develop a game that was some cool behind the scenes shit right there for me so um, yeah but I think every single interview that we've done with somebody who had been a favorite of mine um, I can agree. and for and uh, besides of that, I would have to say the episode that we have all done for charity that we're still oh, doing. Yeah, for one up on cancer. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, that's a, that's a crazy thing. And phenomenal. I don't know. I mean, I, re I think besides until dawn, I'm going to have to go with Vigids. We were all in the zone for that one. We were all trying to figure out what it could possibly be like. I mean, it was a fun episode as well. And, yeah. So, those have to be my favorites. Uh, Crystal, we'll start with you now. What were your least favorite episodes? Oh, God. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. This may sound sad, but I think what I think my interview. The airy mind of like such a dweeble. Yeah, I think I sound like such a dweeb on my interview. <laughs> I was like, I listened to it. I'm like, oh man, I was a wee baby a year ago. A wee baby. Uh, 
a wee baby. No, but in all honesty, I really don't have a podcast that I didn't like. I mean, they've all been fun. I've all enjoyed them. They're all great memories. I don't, I, I can safely say, besides me sounding like a dork of mine, there's not a, pa- a podcast that I do not like, except for Outlast 2s. But I oh, even like that one. That one. Oh, I, that even, one. I like that one because he talked so much shit about it. So uh-huh. I don't like the game, but I like the podcast episode. <laughs> so I can safely say there is no podcast episode that is at least fair of mine. I love all of them. Even the ones I couldn't be a part of. There's not one I don't like. Okay. Uh, Barry, what are your least favorite episodes? Oh, man, to be honest with you, I, I kind of have to agree with uh, Crystal on this one. Um, honestly, I don't really think I have a least favorite. I mean, honestly, I would say probably the one that I did for The Walking Dead. And the only reason why I say that is because... Um, yeah, there were some technical uh, issues. There were some technical issues, like I said, we were talking about that, but... Um, I just think, honestly, you know, you know, I would have liked to get more people into the conversation, and it, it was only just me and Lamont, so, um, so, I mean, honestly, I guess it, it was just that one because of the technical issues, it didn't come out perfect the right time, the way I wanted it to come out, uh, but other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of every episode that I can be, I can get my hands on with you guys, so, like I said, I don't really think I have ones that I don't like, so... Um, um, yeah, I definitely don't hate the one with the Outlast because you guys publicly gave me permission to talk mad shit about a game, and so that's because I we love, all I wanted to talk one. shit about it because we all so, didn't like so it. Honestly, hell, I think so, that was the first episode we drank, wasn't it? <laughs> Ended I it. I think so. Oh no. I, oh no, I drank a lot of them podcasts. So, yeah, maybe I you mean, did. I know, I know, I bought a whole fifth of Jack Daniels for that podcast. <laughs> I mean, I was drunk by the end of that podcast, but I'm drinking so loud. That was the first podcast I actually got, like, kind of drunk on. <laughs> because I drank so much. You get you drunk. I was just, oh, there is one that I think was, like, not the best, and that was our Alien Day one. Because me and you kind of rushed that one. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, it was kind of last minute. Yep. But it was still good. It was a still good podcast. It was just reading stuff off our phones because it was the, the day of Alien Day and we were just reading stuff. So I think that one was like the bottom of all of them. Yeah, cause I, I think because I was just like, man, I kind of want to do an Alien Day one because it's Alien Day and uh, yeah, and it would just be perfect to do it because, you know, I kept saying I wanted to do an Alien one. I wanted to do an Alien one, so um... Yeah. We just kind of threw that one together. Yeah, we just kind of threw that one together. Um, um, yeah. Is that it, Barry? Yeah, man, honestly. Okay. Uh, so, Tessa, what episode do you not like that we did? Uh, I can already think of one, but I'm waiting to see if you say it. Um, God, there, there's so many episodes we did. Um, um, let me see here. Well, we all didn't really like Outlast 2, the game, but it was a lot of fun because we all talked shit about the game, so I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence now as to what one I didn't really like. There were certain ones that I weren't, I, I wasn't a part of because I had to work or whatever, but I don't know. I don't really have one that... You don't really have a least favorite one? Uh, let's see if you mention it. It might jog my memory. Okay, let's just go back to the very first episode. Oh, our first episode. You and I doing ours. Yeah. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, that was a... That was a... That was our first, you know, test run to see, you know... I tried not to think of that episode at all, but unfortunately it is there. But, but in our defense... We have come a long way since our first episode. That's why I kind of tr- remember it a little bit because it's just like, oh, look, this is how we started and look how we are now. What a big difference. It's like we cradled the baby without dropping it. Yeah, but we've, but we've grown so much from it. And, you know, it just goes to show, like, 
how far we've come in a year, our progress, you know, where we've developed our strength, you know, and we made, we took care of, our, we take care of our baby and our baby has grown because of, you know, us. We put our heart and soul, our and, heart and, soul and our love into our baby, so. That's right. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. That's really the only one that struck a nerve with me, was the very first one, the introduction of us, or whatever it was called. Um, the only thing I liked about the episode was when I started to talk shit about rings. By the way, rings, and the people who made rings, go fuck yourself for canceling motherfucking Friday the 13th movie that we should have had last year. So go fuck yourself. Nobody wants to see your bullshit ass rings. So go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah, Jason that, Voorhees oh, is yeah, so that, much better. That bullshit More ass will die in seven days. Oh, and just to throw it out there too, if you really think I'm still going to watch that movie on Netflix, you're fucking wrong too. So there we go. Um, yeah, I am done. Um, oh, it's real tonight. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we should flap him some bits. Maybe you should. Um, Are you me? Are you me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll start with you now, Tessa. Um, what do you think of topics that we feel like we need to work on more? Topics we need to work on more, or areas of the podcast? We yeah, need to work I guess on you more. could say areas of the podcast. Well, when we first started. We, we were really, like, focused on, like, movies. And we were lacking in other areas. And then we switched gears, and then we, we were doing, like, a lot of games and a lot of music. Um, I think I think as our, our podcast continues to grow, we should be more, I guess, equal in spreading out on our various topics. We should talk about figurines more we should talk about books more um you know all the er other areas that we haven't really touched on that much you know since we started the podcast you know things things like that how about you crystal what do you think i'm trying to think i have to agree i just uh oh of what our podcasts are like between movies, books, figurines, games, I think, you know, we should, like, do one, then do another, then do a book, and then, like alternate. you know, do yeah. a game. Alternate. alternate them, instead of, like, having, like, a whole, like, full season of games yeah, and a whole much full been season doing... of books. Yeah, we've pretty much been doing video games. How about we do, like, some board games? Do some episodes on some board games or something. You know, Crystal, Crystal, you you and Peyton have, you know, the same game that Paul and I have. I mean, I mean, hell, I mean, we don't we don't live in the same state, but maybe we could like, I don't know, Skype, Skype. it or some shit yep. and actually play it together one night. Yep. That could work. Yeah. That could work. Yeah, see? There you go. I've suggested that before, but then we started to talk about I don't know how that would work. So then we were trying to I figure out how that would work. I think it would work because Crystal, because Crystal and Peyton have the same games, like a couple of the same games that you and I have. We could sit down, put the Skype on, you know, and you know, just you yeah, know. Yeah, we'll figure. The it only out thing there. is, though, is we'd have to get the board game to match identically to ours because the tiles. You'd have to be able to pull the same tiles out that we have on our board game. Mm -hmm. yep. That'd be the only. That'd be the only difficult part is because the tiles are all mixed up. Yep. Yeah. And you'd have to. You'd have to dig through all the tiles to find out which tiles we're laying down on our board. It's the same for y'all because in that game, certain pieces have doom counters that can start the curse, the haunt, and different things like that. Mm -hmm. That'd be the only difficult thing about the Skype in it is things like that. Yep. And one of us being the uh the uh the killer in the game. Yeah, but it could st it still could work, you know. It's worth a shot, right? We just have to work out the kinks on it. 
That's right. Yeah, we would. That way we could actually do a podcast episode on that. That game that you uh, keep uh, telling Paul and I about that you and Peyton have played that Paul and I have yet to play. What is that one called, Crystal? The house one? It is called Betrayal. It's uh, Betrayal of the House on the Hill. Yep. Yeah, we have that one. We just need to play it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's fun. I love that game. We've got a Goosebumps one, too, and... Yeah, I got the old school ghost, ghost, Ghostbusters, what I just about to say, or Goosebumps. something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I was just about um, to say. We've but got yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Monopoly. And I would love to talk about the old school VHS horror board game with the, with the gatekeeper. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good to talk about. Yeah, that's I old agree. school, and I miss that game. I agree. There was actually this movie on Netflix that I had watched that was similar, that actually reminded me of that game that you're ta talking about, Crystal. And it's called The Gate. Yeah, the movie on Netflix is called it. The Gate. Yeah, and it reminds me of actually what you're talking about. It talks about like this, this VHS like horror game. You know that people watch and they get drawn into this this world. I think I've seen it. I think I watched that movie. I think I've seen it. It might have been one that I recommended to you a while ago. I can't remember. I, I think I watched it. it. Yeah. Um. I have some. I I even have like Alien vs Predator the Clue game. Oh, I don't know if yeah. I'll ever open that, but I mean. And we were we were like. A smidgen close to getting the thing game. Yeah, we were really close to we getting that. We were really that. close to getting the thing. Yep. We have a Cthulhu board game here too. I don't, I forgot its name, but it's based off the Cthulhu monsters, like HP Lovecraft monsters. And I think next time I see that Labyrinth board game, if Crystal doesn't already have it, I'll have to pick it up for her and ship it to her. <laughs> oh my God, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still mad that y'all have the Lambert configuration. Oh, I'm salty about that. The what? The Lambert configuration from Hellraiser. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. I'm salty about that. I'm salty y'all have that. Well, I'll tell you what. When they come back next... When Go Calendars comes back next year, I will go and look. And if they have it, Paul and I will get you one and we will send it to you. Yay. Bless you. Bless and you so they much. also they also have playing cards like you know like card playing cards with like Jason Voorhees on them and Freddy Krueger and Beetlejuice and like these other like characters. It's pretty freaking cool. See why can't we have nice things like this down here? <laughs> why can't we have an FYE down here or Best Buy down here? We have to drive like an hour and a half to two hours away to get an FYE. Yep. We don't even have, FYEs don't don't exist down here no more. We have a GameStop, and Surprising. that's that's Gross. that's about that's about the extent. That's where I found your labyrinth board game. Yep. Our GameStop's not that cool. <laughs> GameStop in general ain't that cool. <laughs> yeah. That. that well, one of my good weird. friends is a manager of it, so that's about the plus side. Yeah, um... So... Moving on, yeah. What about, what do you think, Barry? What do you think that we need, um... Need to work on. What do we need to work on? For the I mean, I guess, honestly, maybe some of the audio, audio work, I guess. Maybe we can have a more stable, um, audio connection, uh, when it comes to doing the podcast, so everybody comes out a little bit more fluent. Um, so we don't have to continue, like, streaming, uh, recording through, like, PlayStation or Discord. I guess maybe we could find a better way to be well, able to Patreon find... That's where Patreon comes in, right? Um, yeah. I guess we can find a better way to, like I said, do the audio, you know, find a way to record our voices for the episodes. Um, I think that would be the next step, honestly. Um, because you, you can always work to improve on doing audio, and, um... I've always I've always learned that when you're doing anything, streaming, making YouTube videos, podcasts, audio is always the one thing that you're always you always want to keep up 
over everything because your 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 stream and your podcast and your videos can look good, but if the audio ain't there, then then um, then it's like what what's the what's the what's the point? So I definitely would say I would definitely say audio work on audio. Um, other things I I would have to agree with Tessa and uh, Crystal. I mean we've talked about games, movies, music. Uh, we haven't really talked to many, uh, many about board games. We also haven't really talked much about books. About what, Barry? Uh, and, uh, books. Yeah. Like authors. Uh, we haven't really, we haven't really discussed that. Yep. Um, I think that'll be something we should work on, probably. Yep. Yeah, Paul just tallied up all of our interviews. And we definitely need to talk more about books and music. Because that's where we're really lacking, and maybe we can like work in like doing more like horror, like figures and stuff, like the Hellraiser puzzle and the Friday the Thirteenth and aliens and stuff. We like definitely that. need more board games. I'm and, actually and more with, board games. I was actually hoping to have my 30th anniversary Evil Dead 2 board game already, but because of delays that happened last year, it seems like I won't be seeing that board game. That I played on Kickstarter last year until like May, so. Yeah, we got the dice for it. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> we got the dice for it now, and we even got the certificate of. Um, Authenticity. Authenticity, yes. So, when Paul tallied up all of our episodes, we have, we have 14 episodes that we've talked about movies. We have. Um, Eight interviews we've done with people. We have one music episode, two book episodes, and then we have eleven episodes where we talked about games, and then we have seven episodes where we talked about other things. Whether it be charity, whatever. Or charity or other your guys' topics, interview, you know, that type of stuff. Your guys' interviews, etc. So we definitely need to talk more about books and music and board games and figurines. Yep. And that is why we're talking tonight to try to figure out what we're slacking on. Our game plan. So what actually might be helping too, since now that you see this, you can actually write down suggest write the suggestions that we have on um, this page. Um, so, like what you just said, we need to do more books, more music, you know, that kind of thing. The only thing with the music, though, is we got to be careful with that because of the whole copyright bullshit. But, um, that's the only other hard thing about music. But, uh... At least we got Song of... What was it? Song of Horror, was it? No. Yeah, we got Song of Horror. Um... Well, we did two music podcasts, did we? Did we do one about horror uh, music and games, too? We did The Sound of Horror, and then that was it, really. The interview. Which interview? Yeah, uh, the interview with the, the guy that does the oh, sympathy, the music. Oh, Shadow Symphony. Yeah, Shadow Symphony. Yeah, we count, I counted that as an in uh, interview. But yeah, oh, okay. that technically is music, but yeah. Yeah, but so it's kind of both. It's kind of both. But we're still slacking on the music bit. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was definitely a, f a favorite, too, actually. Talk Grant. Talking to Grant about Shadow. Grant, we love you, buddy, especially giving us permission to use your music. Just letting you know that we love you, buddy. Thank you. We love your music. I have all your shit, so maybe I can send all your album to you and you can sign them all. Wink, wink. Um, no, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said before, every interview that we've done is amazing. And maybe at the end of this one, I'll uh, spread some type of thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see how, how much beer I can get into me. All right, let's see. Um... It's my turn, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, definitely music. As much as I am a horror fanatic, I love my soundtracks. If the soundtrack is good, I must have it. I don't care if I need to get it on iTunes. I don't give a shit if I need to get a physical copy. 
Hell, I don't even care if I just have to get to the part in the game or movie and just to record it. I want it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I want it. That's why I love my horror music. Um, so yes, we definitely need to do more horror stuff when it comes to music. But, like I said, with the copyright thing, it's a little bit of a bummer. So maybe we would have to do it as a type of interview thing. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, board games, I would love to do board games. Um, but we just need to find the time for it. Especially one that either you and me can just do. Or we need to wait until somebody else gets what we have. and then. Or you all it. just need to visit and play board games. Right, or that too. Or we just all need to move somewhere and build a farm together and... Well, Paul and I eventually want to move to Salem. If you all want to, like, all of us to, like, all move to Salem, I'm game. <laughs> well, Crystal got a house I now. Got, I, I definitely would like to come up north. <laughs> come up north. I mean, I'm technically on the east coast with you guys. I just need to come up northern. I need to come up north. So northern. I definitely hey, want look. to do that. Hey, look. Give me a couple of years. And I may try and get a job at Skullkill in Pennsylvania. No, oh, man, that if, that's case, if that's the case, then me and Te me and me and Crystal will be like neighbors. Me, me and Crystal will be like neighbors. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's what I was like. If I move, if I move to, if I get a job at the Skullkill prison in Pennsylvania, I am pretty much maybe four hours away at most from any of y'all. Hmm. Six hours from us from Salem, Pennsylvania. Salem, Massachusetts is about three hours from us. So if we mo moved to Salem, then you'd probably be closer. a little bit closer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um. All right. Um. Let's see. Who hasn't gone first in a while? Hmm. Barry. Barry. What's up? What do you feel that we need to improve on? I know you kind of already said it, he but... You mentioned sound, like... You mentioned sound, methods, recording... Which we'll be working on by, yep. with our Patreon stuff. Yep. We're going to be doing that as well. Improving. Um, well, um, I guess, like I said, the audio was the main thing. The discussions, the different types of discussions we were talking about. Uh, enhancing growing up. I think maybe we should try to grow, out, grow the channel out a little bit more. When I say that, maybe I know we do podcast episodes. I know we haven't really, um, we haven't really, like, done, like, probably, like, podcast videos. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we could do, like, um, maybe enhance it a little bit when it comes to maybe doing, like, um, podcast videos, doing Skype calls, or, or finding something that's very reliable that we can record and maybe start putting our stuff up there out there on YouTube. Um, we can start rendering videos like that. I would say like that that'll that'll be another way for us to grow um, the channel a little bit more. Uh, so I definitely think maybe we should start thinking about like possible actual like podcast videos that we do. Um, I think that would be something cool. Um, other than that, oh, man. Stuff that we can improve on. I mean, the audio, the ads, I mean... Yeah, I can't really think of anything else, really, honestly, because I think that we're, do we're like, from the short time that we have made the podcast and been a part of it and all the stuff we've um, overcome and, 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 and where we've come from, like, I think we've done such a good job. Um, I mean, honestly, the real thing we can only do is just kind of grow, grow out a little bit bigger, I would say. Um, All right. Well, I mean, there's not really much you could do much more. Well, Crypto, what do you think we need to improve on? Um, I mean, of course, we've had our difficulties between all of us, like as far as like communication and all that, you know. But a lot, we've been doing a lot better. The ones of us that are left in the podcast, so. That that improvement's already been worked on. Um, I do agree with Barry on like YouTube videos, or if we could possibly uh, do like a joint podcast with another horror podcast, you know, because 
it'd be cool to have like a sit down like with another war podcast kind of thing. Uh, like a crossover you know not only would it help us grow but it helped them grow too because their listeners would know who we are and our listeners would know who they are so I think a cross between two horror podcasts would be pretty cool um Skype videos I think that would be pretty cool um to do with all of us or hell even us you know throwing up a Cadgar link on Twitch like we did for Friday and you know have all of us in the podcast playing a game inviting viewers like our followers and stuff hey we're going to be playing this we would like you guys to join you know to join us in the game and hang out with us you know we, we, I know we're, we're, we're steadily trying to reach more and more out to our community and which we're doing pretty good with the Patreon but I think that's something else is trying to reach out to the viewers that we have in the community and get them more involved as we can as possible too if that makes sense actually it does and i think that's a pretty good idea actually yeah i like the idea um i'll let you take the i'll let you go next what do you think we need to improve on i'm pretty much an ingredient i'm in agreement with crystal really and barry branching out more you know reaching out more to to you know people and interacting more with people you know bringing them in so like when we do like video games and stuff like that and doing like crossover you know podcast stuff you know because there's tons of like horror podcasts out there i think yeah there? there's quite yep. a few we just need to find the right we just have to find the right people to communicate with you know that are you know cool yep. laid back people like us that you know aren't assholes yep for lack exactly. of a better word yeah i cannot deal with and i'm gonna Take it from we, Crystal we here. Like we don't like the saltiness. Thank you, Crystal, for putting that forever in my goddamn brain. But um <laughs> But you like my saltiness. You like my salt all day long. <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah, we well, like well. you we like your saltiness, Crystal. Just we not like the saltiness. Else. No one Wait, what? No one can deny my salty sausage, okay? Everybody wants my sausage, especially when it's super salty. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, boy. What did we just get into now? Um, no, I agree with all you guys. The other thing that me and Tessa were even uh, talking about the other day, actually, is that what we would like to do, but when we were thinking about this, it's just like, ah, well, shit. Well, we got to wait till we actually get our desktop to really do more with it. Because, uh, unfortunately, with, like, PlayStation and stuff, like, yeah, there's some cool games and all, but... Um, uh, like, this is what I'm trying to say. So, everybody has probably played Prey by now. Me and Tessa... I still have not, I still have not gotten to play that yet. I wasn't able to pick it up. Me and Tessa, uh, downloaded the demo for it, and we just played the demo, we recorded our reaction, told, told everybody how we thought about it, and put it up on YouTube. We have not done that in a while. I think it's time to bring that back. Um, I think we actually did that with Outlast 2 demo, but it's on my other channel. But uh, whoops, maybe I can download it and put it on um, put it on the uh, horror podcast one, so that will help too. Um, but yeah, what the idea of that would be to go into a demo, get the feel of the game at first. And then what we would do, what we did with Prey was, when it got to a certain point, I gave the controller and headset to Tessa. And from there, she explained what she liked about Prey Demo, what she thought was, uh, could have been That's improved on. an awesome idea, really. I think we do need and, to do more of that. And stuff like that. But the only problem with that is that nowadays on PlayStation, there doesn't seem to be a lot of demos. And so the only thing we could do with that, though, is if we could um, go into, us, all of us went into a game, and we all recorded our gameplay, and then at the end of it, gave, uh, gave whoever, like Barry, because I think Barry, we're going to start using you for the video rendering, 
but we could all yeah. put together a video and have all of us uh, just talk about whatever the hell we're playing and what we think of mm -hmm. it and everything else. Like a perfect example would be White Noise 2. All of us just play and then have one of us just be the monster and then at one point in time we'll all just be quiet and um, we'll just you know boom 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 and then right. we all get to say like what we want to say about the w white noise too yeah it might be a little compre uh, hard about that but if we could all figure out a way that if we could all say like like example crystal loved the monster on white noise too um Marcy. yes but so if we could all figure out a way to say why we like the creature so that way we won't have four million videos of the creature explaining why we love the video or or if we do maybe we could split it up by monsters and counselors or investigators so it would be like a two-part video one video would be talking about our favorite monsters the other video would be talking about our favorite investigators and why and that's an idea right right okay. um I don't know. I mean, another thing that I created doing was um, I created the uh, Everything Horror Podcast Twitch. So that way, not only do I get to use it, but if you, Barry, or Crystal wanted to use it, you guys could. Um, that way, you know, it helps show off the channel too. And it's not just one person doing it kind of thing. I feel like right, right, it could right, be right. a shared channel type of deal. Uh, so that's why I created that. Um, but that's really the only other thing I would like to do, at least, is just do more video game video that just you and me talk and whatnot. And you guys could do it too. Um, I well, think that I, would be I, a great I like idea. idea. Yeah. I do. I like that idea. But gives us uh, another way of you know like of, uh, it gives us other things to do as the podcast. Right. Um, so, I like that idea. Uh, that's really it that I can think of. I don't know if any of you guys can think of anything about the podcast for its one year <laughs> anniversary, but I'm all set. Um, do you guys have okay. anything I, else? I, I I have a question. I I have I have something to. Uh, to, to talk about, I mean, not really talk about, but it's, it's, you know, like I said, we all came down to the conclusion it was a great year, right? It was a great year, we, 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 we We've were grown able to a take lot. what we, yeah, we, we were able to take what we started with and make it into this giant thing. Um, here's a question leading into year two. What do you guys expect to accomplish, um, in year two? Like, are there... Are there um, hints of uh, uh, episodes that we could possibly like hint out? And be like, hey, look, we're we're in a, we're in um, agreement, or we're in talks of doing this. Is there um, uh, like how? Is there other things that you want to? You know, is there other? I know we've talked about a lot of things that like we want to do, like with you know branching out, doing all this stuff. But is there is there things that we can kind of give? our viewers a little hint on what to expect in 2018 well um see that that's where i'm gonna say i don't know if i want to because that was one of the pledges on patreon, patreon. yeah and if you pledge uh -huh. a certain amount i will actually give you guys updates on sneak peek to upcoming episodes yeah and disclose and, um, things that way but but it's I'm it's a it's we're gonna be doing that. I can at least say this, but I'm not. But would so the difference between Patreon and what I'm about to say is with Patreon, you're gonna know who it is. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna flat out give you uh, who we're interviewing, when we're doing it, everything. But because I want to help, so Patreon. We started Patreon to help the podcast. Um, what was really interesting is that 
when we were live streaming Alien Isolation last weekend, um, a couple people were generous enough to give us donation, the, the podcast in general donation, and um, not only did they support the charity as well, but they supported they supported us. us too, and not through Patreon, but they just did it through the PayPal. But even that, like right now. Because of their support, trying to get um, our podcast better equipment to help record better, I actually ended up purchasing our very first new mic that actually came in today. Um, we're actually just waiting um, to get the funds into an account so I can get the next mic. And then I'm waiting for some other funds to come in from taxes and I'm gonna hopefully get us our brand new desktop so we can start doing a lot more stuff to help better uh, record and stuff like that but what I'm gonna say now for Barry's question to give you guys some little insight um, as of right now you are looking at um, possibly one book review in the future we're also looking at possibly two interviews that involve films and one interview that involves a game and that is all I'm gonna say for now but and we plan on getting back into doing like our episodes each month as well for like holidays and stuff like that and i will spill the beans on that our next episode is what my bloody valentine for valentine's day because that is coming up really fast so that's all we got for barry's answer um is there anybody else that would like to say anything ask anything real quick yeah, now is the time to do it um well for for the viewers out there I, I, I just thought about this. I mean, me and Paul and Tessa talked about it. I will let you guys know this. There is, I will be, I will be doing a podcast down the line when we get the time to do it of serial killers. Everyone knows out of the group, I am the serial killer fangirl. I absolutely am like glued to serial killers. She's a so serial killer she, in progress. She has an unnatural obsession. She has the With serial killers. In I her. do. I do. And it's just, I'm just one step over the line from being a serial killer. I think. Maybe, maybe I'm over that line. I just haven't found the right victim yet. Maybe. But <laughs> maybe. It, it could happen. It could I happen. I do have an idea for podcast. It could. I don't want to be on America's Most Wanted, though. Nah. Nah. I, really I, 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 I don't see I don't see you getting caught. I don't either. I'm pretty good at <laughs> the fall I'm deck good the rule and you're good. Things. But you you guys never heard this on the podcast and I'm doing like the Jedi wave. You've never heard this. Um, but I do have a really good idea on podcast and I want the listeners input and Pawn Tessa's input. Not only do I like serial killers, but I'm super, super into urban legends. Yeah, I think we, we were actually all, talking about. Yeah, we were actually talking about doing more episodes with urban legends and stuff. And I actually have an urban a book on urban legends You're here. Huh? You're welcome. I love urban you, legends. Babe. Yeah, it, it was a gift. I from mean, my other half. Yep. I would love to do like the urban legends from like Japan, the urban legends from America, UK. All over. I mean, even the urban legends down in Louisiana. I would love to do a podcast on our urban legends about the loop gurus and the vampires. And I would love to do a you know podcast like that. If you viewers want to hear it and see it, let us let know. Let us know. I know, dude. Be vocal yeah. and tell us what you want to hear. I know there was one person a while back that um, asked us to possibly do an episode on the Scream Queens. I just don't know how we could do that without getting cable or somehow finding it on Amazon. It, 
or something. I don't know. Like, I've, I've been trying to figure out how we could even do Scream Queen, to be honest. So, but we did Are they talking about, like, the TV show? Yes. Or are they talking about, like, Jamie Lee Curtis and all them, like, the women that made the Scream Queens? See, that's the thing. I understood it as the TV show. So, okay. I could be wrong, though. Maybe they just didn't elaborate more of when they said Scream Queens. So, I don't know. Um, but if you are one of the listeners, actually, please let us know if you mean the TV show or the legit Scream Queens. Um, on that note, I will actually throw in, no, it needs to also be done more, is an all-female podcast. Those yeah, need to be more. Yeah, Crystal and, Crystal and I are definitely going to work on that. We've got some ideas. Those are in the talks. Yep. We've got some ideas up in the air that we're talking about doing for future episodes, but we're going to keep those on the DL. Yep. And, um, yeah, that's it keep for me. In suspense. That is me for me now. I want to see you shiver with yeah. Antissa. Patient. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, so I guess that is it. Thank you guys for coming in, Crystal Berry, um, me and Hua here, um, we're good, we're good here, um, well, you know what, I think it's time to say it, so we did start a Patreon, as we were just kind of talking about, is to help us improve our podcast by getting better equipment to record better, but that is our main focus right now, we also want a pod, I mean podcast, oh my god, we also want a desktop to be able to do more with that and what I mean by that is like I want the ability to use the Elgato so I can record my gameplay and stuff better than having to record it on the PlayStation or whatever and then have to put it onto a USB if the USB is big enough and yeah you know the whole and stupid I've nightmare. And I've also been getting slightly scolded because I haven't been able to stream be streaming enough but yet the games that I want to stream she can't stream I can't stream so in my defense <laughs> that is why we that want why. a desktop but so any if you guys pledge I mean there you get rewards it's not like you're gonna just give us money and nothing happens now um, you get goodies. You're gonna get goodies depending on how much you pledge. You're gonna get amazing goodies. Um, one thing I will throw out there right now is I actually got the final design for our posters and T-shirt, oh, and God, everybody I here I so bad. and everybody here can tell you right now how amazing that artwork is, and so every nice. single one of us even wants a shirt. Yeah. So, I love that design so much. It's going to happen. We're so, all going to end up with a shirt. Time. So, if you guys pledge enough, I've actually posted the um, image onto a post for you guys to actually see the exclusive image before the public even sees it. Because it's, I've been debating on when I should even show the public. And right now, it is only exclusive to the design is only exclusive to the Patreon right now until I figure out when I want to uh, put it out there to the public. So that is one other thing we've been working on. Um, and I mean, who, who, like Crystal had said before somewhere, that who wouldn't like to have a poster hung on their wall or in a frame signed by everybody from the podcast? So all of our lovely signatures. All of our lovely signatures on this amazing artwork, which I promise you, none of our signatures should be covering this piece of work because it's we just will, amazing. We will go around the edges. We will go around the edges if we have to. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, I think, except uh, I need to say it. So we have a Patreon video and. Uh, one of the guys we interviewed, his name is Garris Morgan, he, who runs Zenith Films, who we actually interviewed about his fan-made film for Silent Hill. It is entitled Silent Hill Requiem. We interviewed him. He's all the way in the UK right now. He even has a Patreon to help 
make the sequel to Silent Hill Requiem. So if you are interested in helping him out to reach the sequel to Silent Hill Requiem, then you can go to his Patreon as well, which I will drop the link in the description. And yeah, you can go from there if you'd like to. Even you can donate a dollar. He just actually donated, he actually set up a thing now where you can even donate a dollar to uh, his Patreon. But um, yeah, I think that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if I'm missing anything, I'm going to apologize right now. But I mean, it's been a crazy year. And I think my final message. I do have one more thing to say when you're done. Yep. Go for it. I was just going to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to everyone we've interviewed. Don, the McGotham Brothers, Meg, Bill, you know, Shadow Sympathy, all the game makers. Thank you guys. You guys are thank awesome you for letting, amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you for taking the time out to let Paul and Tessa interview you guys. And thank you to all the viewers who have stuck with us, downloaded our videos, shared it, helped us with the charity, came and watched us when we live streamed on Twitch. Thank you to Barry for being here. And thank you to Paul and Tessa for letting us be a part of this podcast. And I hope 2018 is a horrific and amazing year for all of us. Yeah, I definitely I definitely have to agree. You definitely got to shout out. You definitely got to show some love out to, the, to uh, everybody that supports the channel, to everybody that you know, takes the time to, to be a part of the podcast when it comes to the people that are being interviewed, to the people that are at home that download our podcast. You know, thank you to Paul and Tesla. Like I said, I've told them this plenty of times. Thank you guys again for letting me be a part of this amazing project that you have um, um, blessed us all with. Um, so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to be a part of that. Thank you, Crystal, for, um, for, for being for being you and just for being um, a, a great person to just talk to in life. So thank you guys again, everybody, for, for supporting the podcast. And uh, thank you uh, to, like I said, everybody that was a part of the podcast, to all the people that we interviewed. Um, hopefully we, we get to have another conversation with you um, in 2018. And hopefully we can make 2018 a lot better of a year for you guys. So thank you again. And... Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll see we'll see you guys in the next podcast. Yep. Uh, Tessa, anything you would like to say? I I just want to thank everyone that we've interviewed that's been a part of this podcast with Paul and I. You guys know that this is our baby. You know, to all of our faithful and loyal listeners out there that have been with us since day one, you guys are amazing. To all of the, the people that we've interviewed and have become friends, you know, you guys are awesome and amazing and thank you so much for making time to do these episodes with us, you know, and incorporating us into your busy lives. You know, much appreciated, uh, much love, and I can't wait to see what our 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 podcast becomes for 2018 um so yeah super excited well i, I want to thank the following people i want to thank crystal for being an awesome co assistant host i want to thank my lovely fiance uh for agreeing to do this with me with my crazy ass um <laughs> Course, I also want to thank Bree. Uh, I want to thank Lamont. Um, I don't think if I'm missing anybody. I really don't think though. So. I want to thank Matt actually. Matt for um, uh-huh. Barry. Jack. Jack. Uh, who else am I missing? I think that's really it. The, otherwise. Yeah. I want to also say, I just said him. Yeah. I just also want to thank Daniel and Ryan Coughlin. I want to thank Megan Waters. I also want to thank, oh, Weave. I forgot about Weave. Oh, God, can't forget about Weave. Can't forget Weave. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Grant from Shadow Sympathy. 
I want to also thank Bill Oberst Jr. for letting us become a very dear friend to you. And Don. Uh, Don. Oh, we, no. You have been one amazing guy to do, talk with and, and deal with. And we thank you from the bottom of our heart to help to have the podcast help you with your game as well. Um, I also want to thank Katie from my uh, dead static days to her lovely f after midnight FX which if you haven't checked out her work or heard her she interview is you awesome. need to see her shit oh god it's so good it is amazing FX and I guarantee you you're gonna fall in love with it as well and I also want to thank Garrus Morgan from Zenith Film the same guy who made our Patreon video I also want to thank John Burhell, uh, Burhell, yeah, I hope I said your name right again, of Cemetery Gates, a.k.a. the company that released Corpse Code. I also want to thank Jed Bryan, who was the writer, actor, and director of the film Unwisted Owner. Uh, I can't wait to receive my signed copy, by the way. Uh, I can't wait. And I want to thank... The last but not least, Carlos Grupelli, who is one of the members behind Protocol Games and one of the men behind the upcoming horror game, Song of Horror. So, thank you guys so much for letting us talk to you. Thank you, everybody listening, and thank you all for your love or hate. Um, because it just, it just means something to us, either way. So, I think that's it for me. And as always, guys, from all of us, from all of us to you, stay, stay scary. scary.